wonderful society for all of us, most especially for our children. Rona Mackay, followed by Finlay Carson. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Um, can I thank Gillian Martin for bringing this debate to the Chamber? Um, since being elected, like uh, all colleagues here, I've attended many events, all of which have been interesting and enlightening. But the event I attended earlier this year, hosted by MSP Jenny Mara, who I understand has done admirable work in the field of child sexual exploitation and cyber sex trafficking, had a la lasting effect on me and I found it disturbing and powerful, as, as I know the rest of my colleagues did. I came away thinking two things. Firstly, I was shocked that this could be happening to children throughout the world, including Scotland. And secondly, I was in awe of the amazing work being done by the International Justice Mission and the specialist police officers in Police Scotland and the National Crime Agency who are dedicated to eradicating this horrible scourge. These officers who are protecting our children see things on a daily basis no individual should ever have to witness. For this is truly the darker side of the internet and of human nature. Cyber sex trafficking of children is a growing and devastating form of modern day slavery, unimaginable before the digital, digital age and involves the live streaming sexual abuse of children viewed over the internet. As Julian Martin said in her powerful speech, the majority of victims being abused and exploited are often the poorest and most vulnerable. The IGM also partners with justice systems throughout the developing world to bring criminals to justice, restore survivors and strengthen justice, justice systems. The work they do is essential in preventing violence against vulnerable in individuals throughout the world who have no access to justice otherwise. Uh, in an effort to raise awareness, they've launched the Not On My Screen campaign. But this isn't just an international issue. Scottish children are becoming the subjects of online abuse in increasing numbers. Last year, more than 30 million indecent images of Scottish children were uncovered online over a six week period. Think about that, 30 million and it could just be the tip of the iceberg. 523 children were identified as potential victims of abuse, with some victims being as young as the age of three. Uh, police crime statistics have shown that there's not one of our constituencies in this parliament where online child sexual exploitation is not an issue, so it's here on our doorsteps. The Not On My Screen campaign aims to educate individuals on the alarming levels of abuse and encourages everyone to take a stand against it. IGM is the largest anti-slavery organisation in the world. As internet access increases globally, victims can be exploited anywhere, even with just a mobile phone. In the Philippines, cyber sex trafficking of children is exponentially growing, and Philipp Philippine authorities are receiving excess of 6,000 referrals every month, many of which have connections in the UK. Because the trafficking has been driven by online users in Western countries, including Scotland. IGM programmes around the world are currently protecting more than 21 million people from violence and slavery, and 54% are aged just 1 to 12 years old. It's important to remember that the perpetrators are often individuals you wouldn't pick out on the street. They could be sitting next to you on a train. They do not have I am an abuser tattooed on their foreheads. That's why we need public engagement to tackle this problem through awareness and reporting within communities. Some of the most effective information gathered by the police in online sexual exploitation cases comes through reporting by family or friends and therefore it's vital that the public can engage with this issue and we all share responsibility in fighting it. IGM has re recommended establishing a working group to consider what action to take regarding online CSC specifically. Resorting a, resourcing a data fusion centre addressing online CSC would also be a step forward. And lastly, add your voice to the campaign, tweet and use the hashtag not on my screen to help bring awareness to the issue. Presiding officer, we must pre protect these innocent children from this horrif horrific exploitation. It is our duty and responsibility in the name of humanity.